In the private label domain, we basically find that the national brands are losing share. In the longer run, uh, questions emerge on will this restrict the choice opportunities of the consumers. They have done so over the past two decades uh, as a result of very good quality private label and the close collaboration of retailers on the one hand and private label manufacturers on the other hand have resulted in very good quality products. So basically what you see is that private labels start to cover the entire spectrum of the offering, while in the past they were more focused on the price sensitive consumers. It will eventually cause a reduction in the number of products that consumers can choose from. Consumers start to become more empowered. Because they can just open uh, the website of any retailer and start comparing because they have a way of communicating very quickly with one another if there is a certain problem with the product, if the price is too high with one retailer versus another retailer. So without visiting physically all those stores, they can do this from their desk. The economic world may not always have uh, easy access to uh, the practical side of the world, notably in private label. I basically work a lot with a number of data providers to develop uh, insights that are generalizable across a wide variety of settings. If the academic world comes together with ours, there may be a very successful and fruitful uh, cross-fertilization between our two worlds. We as academics have basically the opportunity and the luxury to study those things and basically try to come up with some answers that help better decision making and in the end therefore helps uh, the consumer.